Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, this is just a little midweek video that I thought I'd do for you. I know that I have very, very, very big eyebrows at the moment and not much else on my face, but I decided to do my May favorites video today and do it a little bit differently because I've got some new products and I thought what I do is I'll test them out with you. So that's the new in for May section and then I'll just share with you the products that I bought over May that have really, you know, I've really loved. Um, I'm not really gonna go into skincare. If you want my skincare favorites, I will link that video below because it's much easier for you. I think there's just one thing in here from my skincare routine that I think is absolutely vital. I'm really sorry about the light keeping changing. What we've got at the moment is a lot of cloud cover and it's got very cold in Joburg um, just recently. Uh, so there's a lot of cloud cover and stuff and so the sun appears and then disappears and then appears and then disappears. So I'm trying to combat that with lighting um, but I tend to look a little bit on the yellow side so we'll just see how this goes. Hopefully it's okay for you guys. You'll see I'll get paler and then <laughs> it'll be weird. Anyway, welcome back. I hope that if you're watching this video you're subscribed to my channel. If you aren't yet there's a subscribe button down below which you can easily press and I would absolutely love to have you on board so please consider that. Um, okay so what I've done is I've done my foundation and I've done um, my contour and I have not done my concealer yet. I've done my eyebrows and I've put some stuff on my lips because I feel like I look dead without it. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video. So new in first, so that I'm actually made up possibly for the rest of the video. So let me start with something I found which kind of goes together with a product that I'll show you later that's one of my favourites. Anyway, this is the Camouflage Cream from Catrice. Um, and it's, it's really, really lovely. I absolutely love this. So I on a daily basis I've taken to putting this under my eyes. I've tested this once um, just to see whether it did anything and I'm just going to show you what it does do. It's really a nice product, it's very malleable as well in terms of working it onto the face. So that looks a lot better. It's brightened the under eye and I haven't got like dark purple bits here anymore. So I'm a real fan of this product and it's also really inexpensive. So an absolute must if you have sort of the under eye circle. So I've done my contour um, and what I'm gonna do now is a highlight. Now I found this. Now I really hope you can see this because it's everything. It's the Prismatic Rainbow Glow highlight Highlighter from Essence. Now we have not had one of these um, like rainbow palettes in South Africa at all until now, as far as I'm aware. So I thought, let me buy it, let me put it on my face. I want to be a unicorn, I want to be a magical creature of some description. I want a rainbow on my face. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this Palladio, it's actually a blush brush but it works so nicely for highlighter. I'm just going to go all the way through, oh my god, I'm so excited, I don't know how much to put, oh my god, let me come close for you. It's not very pigmented, like I don't think. Um, will I look like a unicorn? I don't think so. I don't think I really look any different at all to my normal highlighter. I think it's just, it's an amazing highlight. I think it's stunning. I think it looks cooler than like on here. Yeah, it's a really pale pink when you put it on your on your arm. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that, but it's a really pale pink really when you go through and just tap it down. What I'll do is I'll do an Instagram photo with it anyway because 
hell I love it I love the way it makes me feel and I think that's the most important thing about makeup so I'm a little disappointed though that it's not more rainbow on my face so it's not more pigmented but hey ho let me just do that okay um then I'm gonna go on to a new blush that I found which this is the blush that I'm talking about hopefully you can read what it says there it says you can stand under my umbrella it's also essence it's the me and my umbrella range that they've done for autumn remember it's autumn in South Africa so yeah it's a silky soft powder blush uh, for a natural and fresh looking complexion which I do like which is the luxe sheer cheek brush again so weaver and I'm just gonna I really don't want to ruin this though put it on the apples of my cheeks it's just so pretty, I just don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> ah! Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is work on my eyes. So I have not opened that, which should be completely obvious to you because I'm literally, I've just undone the sticky bit that comes here. It comes with a piece of sh uh, clear plastic over the little thing. This is a NYX palette. It is, oh my god, I have an itch. It's the Smoky and Highlight palette. This is in 01. Now you might recognize the form of this palette because I do have the Warm Neutrals palette from them as well. But I thought, let me try this because it's a nice winter, autumn winter kind of shade. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go with the Palladio brush. This is the blending brush. I'm sorry about the dogs. Um, and I'm gonna go in, what do I wanna do? What do I want to do? I've never used this palette before. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to go in with the lightest shade here and go right under the eyebrow. Sorry, I'm trying to see kind of round you because there's a mirror behind you. I should really have just got a mirror to work with, but <laughs> that is way too smart. Um, okay, so I've done a bit of a highlight. Then I think I'm going to go with this color over the whole lid. Oh, that's nice. Sort of like a ballerina pink, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with this one, which is the Zoeva brush, it's actually a smudger brush. And I'm gonna go in with this absolutely stunning looking burgundy, I can't follow my own finger. Oh my gosh, it comes off real nice. Then what I'm going to do is flip the, the brush over and use it in the gold section. This like really strong gold next to it. I'm going to go back in with this brush on an opposite side. The side that I use for light and the side that I use for dark are two different sides. Um, hopefully I can remember which one's which. So I'm using the dark. Uh, by the way, I just forgot to tell you, but I'm just going in with this colour which is like a matte burgundy. I might have too much burgundy on today for everyone's taste, but I don't care. Um, then I'm flipping back over to the light side um, and dipping it back into this lovely gold and uh, going over the eyelid there. I'm, I've always been really, really happy with this palette. I am not going to go any further other than to smoke this out a bit. So I'm just going to dip this into the nice dark shade here and just smoke it out a bit with this big Zoeva brush, which apparently isn't even for this. It's for, um, what was it for? Concealer. No one uses it for that. No one actually uses their makeup brushes necessarily for their purpose and I think that's something I've learned as I got older. Like, you can really just, you find what suits you. This brush and using the non-dark side, um, I'm gonna go into this super icy, I wonder if they all have names. I want them to have names. I'm gonna go into the super icy one and go right under here, under the eyebrow. This is probably a bit 
made up for a day-to-day -day look to be honest for some people but I kind of love it um, and you know what the only person who has to love your makeup is you and if someone's like you're too made up well as long as you like it and as long as you love what you're looking like I really don't see a problem a new eyeliner I bought which is the long lasting from Essence I've really decided to try out their products because I can be quite allergic to like eye shadows and eye liners and things like that but I have not struggled with this I've used it once and I I'm not allergic to it which is great so You might have noticed that I'm not really a winged eyeliner person. But that is not to say that if you, sorry, enjoy winged eyeliner, you couldn't just do winged eyeliner. You could. And then something that's not really new, you've seen it before, um, it's the false lash effect from Max Factor, but I didn't buy a new mascara this month, so, um, but I do need to put mascara on my on my face. Well, not on my face, because that would be weird, wouldn't it? But imagine you did like your eyebrows and everything, and then you were just like, "Okay, I'm done." You didn't like put mascara on or anything. How weird would that be? Probably look like such a creep. Because mascara really like finishes a look, I always feel like. My god, my eyes look massive. Okay, so basically I'm just going to go through some of my favourites and just let you guys um, know what I've been liking this May. So the first one that I'm going to go to is the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, this is just a printing error by the way. Um, it's um, an absolutely lovely powder. Um, it's more of a foundation powder, but I find that because my foundation is not that strong, I really like this. It doesn't usually look like this, it's just that I have been using it, so it does have an absolutely beautiful mirror as well, and definitely in my favourites, because it gives a lovely finish and it lasts all day. Um, I'm actually going to put both of these in the NYX Ultimate Palette. I love the Warm Neutrals palette, but they're so often sold out. And I decided to try the Smoky and Highlight palette, which you just saw, um, for um, like a more wintry look. I feel like this is summery and glowy and beautiful and bronzy and warm. Um, but you can use either. And um, yeah, I really recommend buying one of these palettes if you can get your hands on them because they're absolutely insane. Great colour payoff and quite a good price as well. Two things here. This is my um, YSL Touche Eclat and then this is a dupe that uh, dupe a dupe that I found for that. And this is the Catrice Light Reflecting Concealer. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's very very light reflecting. Okay, so this is the light reflecting concealer from Catrice. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. If you can't, what I'll do is I'll just insert a picture right here if you can't see it. But these two are basically doing the same job. Now, you need more of this one to achieve what this one does, but I really, really, really like the fact that there's eventually a dupe for this. It even looks very similar. So with the uh, YSL, it's a lovely little brush here, and you press this button to get some um, concealer out. With this one, you remove the top, again, ditto a brush, and you just twist this to get some out. And I've been using that, and I've been liking it. I did one on one side and one on the other the other day, and no one noticed. Another thing that I wanted to mention, just special mention for them, is a Smith & Cult. I hope you can see this because it's really, really a lovely packaging. Uh, Smith & Colt are now in the country and they do these absolutely beautiful, um, these ones are lip glosses with a bit of a tint. It's just a really, really light uh, tint and the packaging is amazing. There's a tint one, which it, this one's called, 
Linger Sai. Um, they're all sort of named after like diary entries kind of thing um, and they're really awesome. They do nail polishes and all sorts. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do a blog post very very soon where I review all of that kind of stuff. Um, this is the lip tint, there's also a lip gloss and there's a matte lipstick coming out very very soon so when that is out I will let you know what it's like. Um, you, I think if you know me, you'll know that I'm not a huge fan of the uh, lip glosses, but this really is very luxurious and very nice, and it does leave a tint, so I'll hold it on for you. There you go. It does give a lovely luxurious tint, which I do like, and it can look very, very fresh. So I'm falling back in love with uh, lip gloss. And then also, obviously, I mean, I've just mentioned this, but let me just mention this, the NYX Matte Lipstick is always one of my favourites, and I just bought a new one. This one is bright purple, it is called Zen Orchid, and it is an absolutely epic look. I'll swatch that for you. Oh, I'm trying to, like, not ruin the lipstick as well, so it came out a bit funny. But there you go. It's a bright, bright purple. Um, it's not Barbie purple though, and depending on the pigment and colour of your lips, I feel it's a, it's one of those things that you can take if you're feeling daring. Um, then, kind of, really, the last thing that I'm going to mention, and I'm only really mentioning this in case you didn't see my skincare favourites, because, um, I really do love this. I have quite problem under eyes um, and um, they look a lot worse now because I've got some fallout here and I haven't tidied it up, but never mind. Um, I absolutely love this. This is the Uriage Isolis and it is so good. It's, it's to reduce puffiness and dark circles and wrinkles. Well, you know, you're better to prevent wrinkles. Um, and it comes out in this lovely little, I mean if you look at the tip here, and you literally roller it on to your eyes like that. And if you massage in with the roller, it's really, really lo lovely and that's what prevents wrinkles really, um, the massaging of the face. Apparently I've heard that and that's why men tend to get less wrinkles because they're constantly like massaging their faces when they're like um, shaving and stuff. I'll mention, and I'm really sorry about the condition of this palette, but uh, just a mention of this, the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette is one of my absolute favourites. I love it, I use the darkest colour on my eyebrows and I feel like this just does everything. So it's got all of its highlighters. If you're in the US or the UK, you can just replace these individually. You can literally just take them out and replace each one as it finishes. In South Africa, unfortunately, they haven't brought that out yet, which is a bit sad. But nonetheless, an amazing palette and definitely something I would recommend. Yeah, please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. I will swatch and do these palettes and take some Instagram photos for you guys so you can see them. Uh, so hop on right over to my Instagram, which I will put on the uh, last screen just after this. And uh, you can hop over there and I uh, hope you have an absolutely brilliant rest of the week. It's been nice doing a midweek video. I feel like I don't um, do enough videos sometimes. Can you imagine if I just left it like this and I was just like, yep, cool, I'm ready to go out. <laughs> Can you imagine? Everyone would be like, what are you, what are you thinking? War paint, guys, war paint. Look at that, so much better. Okay, cool. Awesome. Bye!